Hi everyone, my name is Cassandra Ursland and I am a Chamber Board member. I am also on the Chamber's Committee for Successful Women Series. We have some really exciting things happen in 2019 and here to kick it off is a very successful woman here in Chickasha, Lori Elzo. Hi, how are you, Cassandra? I'm well, thank you. How are you today? I'm doing great. Good. So, Cody tells me we only have a couple of minutes, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in. As you know, I'm here to talk to you about our Successful Women series. Um, in our committee, when we were discussing names, your name was at the top of our list. Oh, so, kind. Um, my first question um, is, can you tell me a little bit about what you do here at First National Bank? I'm a head of trust services. I've been in that role since... 1989 for a long time. I've also expanded to take on some additional responsibility as time has gone because I've been here for a long time. So I oversee HR and um, sometimes it's a special project, but my main role is overseeing the trust services. All right, great. And so can you um, tell me in your words, what is a successful woman and why you think you're so successful at your position here at First National? <laughs> I don't think success should be defined by uh, a title or a salary. I think it really has to do with what you contribute. And if if you're making your family better and your workplace better and um, contributing to your community, I think if, if that is if you can do that, show up every day, then that's going to be success. Okay. And I and I think that maybe why I'm successful is is that showing up thing. I think that it's just a matter of coming in every day and identifying what needs to be done and taking care of it. And if you're taking care of customers and your family and your coworkers, that should generally lead to success. All right. So keeping with that definition of success, could you tell me what you think makes Chickasha so successful and why you just love living and working here? I just love living in Chickasha because I love the fact that when I go to the grocery store, in the vegetable aisle of the checker, I know their stories and they know my story. I think I would be so lonely in a big city where I didn't know anybody. I know I've had friends that have, been, have left here and are really happy um, away from here, but I, li I love the idea that I know the history. I know who lived in that house. I know the history of Chickasha. Um, and the reason I think that Chickasha is successful is, is that small town. I think it's the fact that we take care of each other because we know each other. Um, and I think that when people identify a need, they step up to meet it. Okay, so can you tell me um, what you think women in Chickasha are doing uh, successfully and what we can do better? Well, I'm always pleased to see women running, running for public office. We had, right now there's a school board campaign um, where women are running. We've had women in, running for city council positions. Um, we're all excited that a Chickasha woman, or a woman who grew up in here in Chickasha, Kendra Horn, um, has been elected to, a, to Congress. So it's a, it's a matter of women stepping up to those roles, and that, that really will make a difference. But women have always made a difference in, in this community. Any, the Sunday school teachers and the PTO presidents and the junior social workers and just a myriad of volunteers and volunteer positions that women have taken on, always. Mm -hmm. All right, so my last question is a pretty tough one. Um, I know that I define success in so many different ways. Um, and so we are looking for another successful woman to interview next month. And uh, do you have somebody in mind? I would like to nominate my good friend, Gina Jadot. All right, Gina, well, it looks like you are our next woman. So we will be in touch with you soon. Lori, thank you so much for um, talking with me today. I do want to let everyone know that we are kicking off this series with a breakfast in March. There will be more information coming out on our Facebook page and emails being sent out, so make sure you keep an eye on those. Uh, we'll see you next month.